Well, hello. I am testing out streaming on the Xbox again um, on a game it actually should work on. Oop, yeah, there we go. That seems to work. This um, is a game I'm playing for a publication. I'm genuinely doing a bit of reviewing. Um, Boots, you know, for games. The game is called Black Mirror. It's um, nothing to do with the TV show, with the Charlie Booker show. It's instead. Uh, <laughs> me wired. Yes, I am. I am playing this, streaming this from the Xbox in one room to the PC in the other room. I actually have a nice new PC. Uh, which allows me to do it in relative warmth and comfort because it's freezing here and my living room is really cold and I have a leather Chesterfield and it's not that comfortable sitting on I need to put a blanket on it. So I haven't done that so let's try this because this is a game that hopefully shouldn't be too graphically intensive. Um, I will apologise for the fact that um, the loading times in this game are frankly ridiculous. So the only time I make a transition from one place to another it's going to be slow. No. Come on. Yeah, it's cold. Okay. Let's do it. Oh no. Get away now. Okay. Control should be working. One moment. Problem solved. Yep, it's always the simple things. Uh, it turned out that in fact I left um, the controller plugged in in the other room. There you go. That's what happens. So let's continue. The story is I play David Gordon. Um, David Gordon, and yes, that ringing in the background—that's part of the game. It's it's part of the ambient soundtrack. A couple of times in the game, you've had a migraine headache thing, and it's really kicked in with a sort of tinnitus sound. And the game does that continually. So yeah, so this is this is Gordon. Uh, sorry, David Gordon. Yes, and the camera controls are just fine. Cheerful, nice, pretty looking guy. Um, not at all an angelist. He's uh, the long lost, or not long lost, but um, long forgotten son of the Gordon family. He's been living in India with his mother. His father killed himself. Um, and may be completely insane, uh, set fire to himself after being a weird freak out of voodoo blood magic, and so the son has to come to inherit everything. His grandmother owns a house, there's a couple of servants, that's the butler, he's a bit of an arsehole, and yeah, that's basically the story up to this point. You've wandered around. Smoking a pipe? I thought that would be beneath her station. No, the subway is beneath her station. That 
Let's let me grind my grinding for it, whatever it is. Uh, Lady Margaret. Margaret. David. May I first apologize for my strange behavior last night? It's Getting just the morning wound, host, basically. Uh, think nothing of it. You are obviously tired from your travels. Least said, soonest mended. The maid. She seemed to be acting strangely, like she was frightened of me. Yes, well, she's a simple sort, that one. She has probably heard of the curse of the Gordons the locals like to whisper about. Curse? What curse? Just a peasant superstition. I would guess she was worried you'd show the same displays of unpredictable violence as your father did. I never knew my father to be the violent type. Oh, there are many things you do not know about your father. This is his doing. What? But, but how? I'd rather not discuss it, David. And that maid should really keep her mouth shut. And I'm locate she was the earrings she's on her lost. Or something? She's like a magpie with shiny, expensive things. I could give it to her, and she'd still never tell me anything useful about my father or the secrets of this place. So but I give her the option. I could use this to earn her trust. I'm just trying to do the maid a solid, you know. Uh, what kind of man was my grandfather? Oh. He was magnificent. He was handsome, so handsome, and caring. Caring enough to knock a defenseless child down the stairs. Crazy and abusive and all was so very like different that. when he was around. But he's clearly, plainly still around. Um, there was a point in the beginning of this game. The basically the game arrives at the start of you arriving at the after a very short intro where you play your father running through the moors, being chased by something or other, it's never made clear, and seeing a sort of ghost of a lady, and then setting yourself on fire. Then you become David, arriving um, with a couple of weird things, your dad left you a scrawled, a scrawled note that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Okay, it's not letting me use my own inventory here. A scrawled note that doesn't make much sense and a bit of a model of a castle. Um, and then you find Lots of weird things going on. But you've only been here for one evening. Like, literally, you arrive, you get taken up to your room, and then you get a sort of warning around the house. And then when you do, oh, you see a little boy who you keep talking to. And then he gets chased by the ghost of your granddad, and you realise the boy's ghost as well. And you try and grab his hand because he's about to fall down some stairs. And then he isn't there, and then you trip and fall down stairs, and then you wake up and that's this morning. And you've just had breakfast. A delicious breakfast of scrambled egg and sheep and deer brains. Which is actually a thing. I think it. I get the sense that that was really thrown in. Like, you want some haggis and black pudding and scrambled egg and sheep brains? Or deer brains, actually, not sheep brains. And I think you get the option of eating it or not, but you get an achievement if you eat it. Now, the thing is, haggis, black pudding, or black blood pudding, or something they refer to. Black pudding. Right. Black pudding. People eat it all the time, all over the UK, and all over the world. And God knows. I went to Cuba once and they ate it there, like, with every meal. Um, but blood pudding is not a strange thing. Haggis. It's just awful. Like, as in awful with an O, not awful with an A. And it's really tasty. I love haggis. I eat it all the time. Um, I'm not sure I would eat scrambled egg and deer brains just because of prion disease and things like that. I mean, it's generally not a good idea to eat brain or spinal matter of any animal, just unless you're particularly starving and you've got nothing else to eat. But it's a perfectly normal thing to be living in for years. So yeah, okay, game with your casual anti-Scottish racism. Mm. I don't want to give her another reason to think me mad. Uh, this may seem like an unusual question. I'd be surprised if it wasn't, dear boy. Have I ever been here before? Nonsense. Is it possible I visited as a child and can no longer remember? Oh no, you are a stranger to these walls. And I have a feeling you prefer it stayed that way. I shall take my leave, Lady Margaret. Take it. Take it away. Take your leave away. Do not bring it back.
I do like this kind of stuff. I mean, aside from the really, really horrendous screen tear, which you you would think. I mean, this game's been. I'm presuming optimized not for Xbox. Oh god, the screen tear, and that's not just because of the. I mean, this is actually running really well through the stream, and I don't think it would. <coughs> it ran literally this badly on everything. There's no run button. I should really be a run button. There's a sidestep button. There's a strafe button. And these loading screens, every time they go through from one area to the other, takes me so long to load. <laughs> I'm not actually making a move, so it concerns me a little. I'm not sure if that's a controller. I hope not, because it's my newer controller. I bought to replace the old ones that broke. Now I can't go to the follow the front door. That's the front door. Apparently I'm not allowed. Um, um, it's quite a big house. That's one of the side problems about all these load times is the house is actually pretty big. So, because <coughs> I mean it's a standard sort of Scottish Gothic mansion. So, I'm in the room upstairs. There's the library, which is two floors. Um, there's the kitchen and the dining room. I think this is the kitchen through here. I spent the entire. I must have spent like a good hour or two just exploring. Ah! They're on the maid cleaning, cleaning the dumb waiter. Hello, maid. Uh, Miss Cranon? I think you may have lost this. Oh, sir! Oh, thank you, sir. I only wanted to see how it looked in the mirror. I didn't mean to. I was scared to tell her ladyship. She can have such a temper. What are you going to do now? Uh, if I can sneak it into the salon, maybe her ladyship will think she lost it there herself. From what I know about her, I very much doubt her ladyship will. Would you like me to escort you to the cellar? It wouldn't be proper to ask the owner of the house to do that, sir. Well, I'm not the owner yet. And you didn't ask. Very kind of you, sir. Happy to help. I'll let you know when I'm ready to accompany you down there. I'll let you know when I'm ready to help you do your job. Did you ever talk to my father? I was serving here when... That is to say, I... Go on, please. I didn't think it'd be proper, sir. Uh, Lady Margaret, sir. Oh, sorry, sir. I must get on with my work. Oh, She's come a on. Woman, as she is of the butler. Poor girl. What happened to my father here? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You're not like the rest of them here. Oh, sir, there's things you should know, but I really need this what job. I tell you no, there won't be any more. But how can I convince her to trust me? Isn't that used for transporting cooked food? Why is there blood in it? Blood pudding. Oh, the wee scanner thought it would be funny to put one of his dead beasties in it to fear me. He should keep them in the cellar and... Sorry, sir. I'm speaking out of turn. Oh, so that's what's in the cellar. 
Um, you said my father saw things. I don't want to talk about it, sir. I shall leave you to your work. Okay, so this was. Well, you're clearly not the girl in the trailer, so I have no fear of that any form of romantic liaison. So therefore, you are a plot device, and I shall have not more to do with thee. Oh, I think we shall now. Awesome. Shall we? Well, the light effects are good. Not that that's exactly anything new for video games these days. Hmm. I'll do away my beard. Hmm? I've been growing it and my moustache. Quite ridiculously. <laughs> Try to shave it off eventually. Unfortunately. Poor Jeff. Dang it. But there we go. Hopefully I'll be able to hang on to at least the moustache until the new year. Oh. Oh, so I get the option to leave. So in other words, I get to wander around here. I'll probably have to pick up something from somewhere else in the house and then use it down here. Because this is an adventure path. I.e. a fetch quest. Rub the monkey on the potato. Take it from the time portal kind of deal. What the? Oh, it's a deer. Sweet. Too dark to see if there actually are brains missing from that deer. I think it's pretty intact, though. Just mildly disconcerting. The one good thing about this game is you can pretty much see instantly if there's something you can interact with because it gets a big white circle appears on it. Ah, Lavino! You must go to the house to learn to take care of pigs. See what we can find down here. Definitely moving on in a hurry. <sighs> How cruel of Mr. McKinnon to send her down here alone. Hardly, it's her job. This is as close as I get. Otherwise, I'll have them crawling all over me. I have to find a way to eliminate them altogether. Harsh as it may seem. A proper serving of fire is the only way to get rid of such a widespread infestation. This is as close as I get. There's spiders. I'll have them crawling all over Wipe me. them off. I have to find Just a way to eliminate them altogether. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right, so okay, so now we've got the candle. Now I can probably see what's going on. Ah, yeah. Well, we can see what's going on. Can't we? More spirit. Not particularly palatable, but good for cleaning and magic tricks. The water of life. Some of these whiskies are from local distilleries. Stubby. Looks fresh. Uh, Master Eddie's work. He and Mr. McKinnon put it here earlier. Poor beastie. Eddie. Another family member I've yet to meet. Ooh, a lot of love for just one animal. Hardly. It's bigger than you are. Human fold eight pints. Not the most hygienic workstation. It's like 1910. Come on. Mm, a hunting map. Looks like they've been poaching outside the grooming <gasps> estate. The scandal. Be pretty good. Let's pause this for one second. One second, I thought. Let's, oh, actually, I can show you this. Come on, come on. Oh, there's the master key. That's another thing. Take it easy. And that's it. Everything else will disappear. A di oh, a new page of the diary. Sweet. I can actually read the diary now. The greeting I received upon my arrival was cold as the castle walls, but the Andrew Harrison, the lawyer, has contacted me on behalf of the family and passed an investment to the welcome of Dr. 
Ce să înțelegi, mă tam de zi, mi-ai să vă mine, zic, uite, eu gândesc, eu vorbim de zi, dar am zis, uite, e activ, nu știu, nu știu, e. Dar și să tam de mai hai să urcați mai tare, să-i așa mi-i decau. Să nu se zic, stai, uite, 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 <sighs> Who was the boy? Find out what Elsa knows. Elsa's big maid. Anyway, right. Um, one moment. No, no, no. Might have lived that one.
<coughs> there you go. So, so I just need to check a few things and also to make sure that my pot of soup wasn't boiling over. I've made a lovely pot of soup. And some stock from a chicken I had the other day. Boing! Step right up! Sir? What are you... Oh my! Oh, that's amazing! Uh, does that not hurt? You totally have the mate. A little trick I learned in India. <laughs> Sorry, did that scare you, Elsa? I didn't think... Huh. Like he didn't set his face on fire. Punch. And you are? Edward Malori. You may call me Edward III. So this is Cousin Eddie. He seems... Punch Eddie in the face. Welcome to my castle. As terrible as the rest of them. My castle indeed. Pleased to meet you, Eddie. So your parents would be my aunt and uncle Clara and Victor. Are they... Dead. Dead as doornails, the pair of them. Lovely. You've lived here all your ah, life, sure, so sure you would have met my father. Only after he lost what marbles he had left. Oh, you're if it were up to me, I'd have locked him up in the loony bin a bit sooner. Locked him up? So what are you doing down here anyway? There's a line between honesty and rudeness that Cousin Eddie doesn't seem to recognize. I was helping Miss Cranon. Oh, why didn't you ask me? Excuse me, sir. Sirs, I really have to go. Leaving so soon? Uh, was it something I said? Oh, he's too stupid to realize that he's... They all tend to act like that in the presence of nobility. A weird, hideous You chub. said something about a loony bin? I did. Oh. Oh, you don't know. Well? Oh, never you mind. I have an animal to prepare. I'm okay, getting you're really tired of everyone in this house avoiding my questions. No writing sucks. It sucks so bad. That guy looks like Matt Lucas. If Matt Lucas had really, really, really bad skin and lots of ginger hair. That noise is still there. It's actually getting kind of annoying, that noise. I mean, I, I appreciate that they're trying to do something with it, but sparingly. Uh, th there's something you should know, sir. Something important. I overheard them talking, and I... Uh, you're paid to work, not chat. Get to it, girl. Sorry, Mr. McKinnon. Library after dinner. Oh, I have love. I might get some answers. Maybe someone else if you're lucky. I'd better leave Cousin Eddie to his hobby for now. Too much work to animate that, I imagine. Dun da 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 Ooh, gammon. Not gammon, not gammon. It's Zambon. His big dried legs of um, pork, like salted pork. So gross. I remember years ago. My uncle came over from Italy and he brought over one of them just like a whole leg of it. We'd eaten it for years, literally, because it was all thing. You just had to cut thin shavings of it. Oh, that stuff was heavy. So good though. Mm. Mm. Delicious. That's what I've got for dinner as well. Don't you hate or have you got the thoughts and buy something? Oh, I could suffer for that also. More load times. So yes, mystery. There is mystery abounding in this. Too much mystery. Two fit right together. Yeah, why not? Um, Where are 
let's go to the library after the mission center thing. That's fine. Well, so I can find the lawyer in the library. Is it McKinnon? McKinnon? What's his name? No, no, McKinnon is the butler. Mr. Something. <sighs> Hear rain, I'm not standing outside. Oh no, it is raining now. Is that rain or is that snow? David, apologies for not being here to greet you. As the telephone in the castle is not working due to the recent storm, I have had to journey to the village to communicate with my office. Upon my return, I shall show you to the Harrison. chapel where you can pay your respects to your father. <coughs> Yours, Andrew Harrison. See or maybe I'll just head to the chapel myself. Just as soon as the weather clears. Ha ha ha. We're going to take the trip. The only problem with something like this is... Do I have to bring in something? It's labelled Mallory. Perhaps another client of Mr. Harrison. Love interest. The trouble with any sort of gothic horror story is that there are certain inherent tropes you know, to use a, a very charlie phrase of the, the kind of gothic horror genre where it's a bit like um this doctor father might be useful perhaps she could shed some light on father's final weeks I should oh, find a letter from when I broke into this. this. It's a fun puzzle, actually, with breaking into here. It involved actually having to use a bit of paper to wash the code out. That was fun. Um, <clears throat> what am I up here? Yeah, it's a bit like... um. If you've read it, I mean, essentially, if you've read any gothic horror from time immemorial, certainly from like the turn of the screw onwards, um, then it's all kind of samey. Why is this? Why is it dark now? <clears throat> I would definitely recommend, actually, anyone who's interested in horror writing um, or the writing of a horror thing. Do read the turn of the screw. It's fantastic. I mean, it's really short, but it's there's a reason that it's like the seminal sort of short horror short story about somebody in a weird old haunted gothic house in the middle of nowhere, and everything kind of steals from it. But it's incredibly simple. I mean, it's a bit like um. Oh, I can't go in here. Good. Sometimes, sometimes you just walk up to the doors and they get loads. Sometimes you have to actually open them. There's no rhyme or reason to it, um, which also means you can accidentally walk into somewhere while trying to walk past it, which is not so good. I need to move this. <laughs> Sorry, I need to mute leaves. So my screen just is getting ridiculous. There, there. Now I'll actually stop looking at myself. Uh, I had the just literally just the side where. The thing is, I had um, the image of myself on the screen and it's distracting because I just kept looking at myself while I was on the camera. Things you learn. Can be a new thing, probably. Yeah, it looks like somebody nicked a lot of the stuff that I was looking at here. I do like this. This, this side of it I enjoy. This side of all this kind of here you can sort of look around stuff. Definitely do seem to be papers in this one. Right, that was a puzzle. You don't really want to do it, do you? The whole point about this was. Let's see if my trusty key will get this open. 
yeah, last time, <clears throat> got to this point, did something, never saw what actually happened to the building because then magical ghost child appeared and started doing things. Uh, not like this. I would need to be able to see what I'm trying to do. Right. Use the key. Okay. Luckily it saves what the key's done. <sighs> Not like this. Well, if I could see what the actual lock looks like. never seen a key like this before. It feels like father wanted me to keep it a secret. I've never seen a key like this before. Yeah, 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 yeah. It feels like father wanted me to keep it a secret. Well, I know you and I can't skip any of those bits. never seen a key like this yeah. before. Can't be it feels like father wanted me to keep it a secret. <sighs> Not like this. <sighs> Without being able to properly look at it, how am I supposed to figure it out? <sighs> Not like this. I hope I can talk to more people. If, I, <coughs> if I'm supposed to figure that out from that, I'll be quite annoyed. It doesn't really make any sense. Hmm. Well, there's still plenty more of the house I can investigate. Is the attic definitely in the room? Grandfather Edward died before I was even born. Found in his seventies if he was still alive. Nope, that's to go into these rooms. I couldn't go into those rooms last night either, there's somebody's bedroom. Back to the attic, however. Chance of using the key around the ass. Oh, just now you just can't go in. That's not come up. Hmm. Can't do anything with the dumb waiter. Um, I can't do anything with the garden. <coughs> I suspect I should go to the garden next. Really? My God. Camera kept going and he didn't. Chunky, chunky this game is. Hmm, the charger it is. Hmm. Hmm. Father spoke. I know there's something there I could have touched. Hmm. 
to actually. And I didn't get to. Two load screens in rapid succession, because that's what this game needs. Ah, the record. Um, didn't play the record player last night because it was the old biddy was doing it. So yeah, I'm sleeping in my chair, muttering about some nonsense. I'll give that a spin later. Why not do it now? <coughs> Clearly does not suit the game to do it right now. Oh well. Seems just maybe it starts to just pan sideways for some reason. Doesn't work for that. Anyway. Got to be the phone that doesn't work. It's working. Has it been repaired? Or did Andrew light it? No, not lying to me. I don't like lie warning. Don't want to lie me with the ring. Yep, not well with the beat. <coughs> Losing again. Just need a new load times. Much load time, so irritates. <sighs> so, yeah, so I'll be doing a full review of this game once I eventually finish it. I mean, it's not a big game, but I can, I'm guessing um, there's a lot of wandering around, but ultimately it looks like possibly quite a short game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The sad thing is the atmosphere in this is quite interesting. But the actual moment-to-moment -moment gameplay not so much. I detest this game. I detest these loading times and the shorty control. Part of that may be this controller. I don't know. It just seems a bit weird because I've never had any issues with this controller ever before. But this is this game seems to be setting off for America. Or some aspect of the streaming seems to be making this happen. But yeah, I never had any issues with it, and this has always been the one I've used to take care of people. Make sure that I never twisted the cable, never left it lying on itself. Always kept it, you know, nice and sensible. Because I've lost a few controls over the years, the old, the old Xbox ones. The annoyance about this is that, see this bit here? People have a nasty habit of just, like, pulling that like that and then wrapping the cables around it. Shortens the lifespan. Of course, this is not an issue anymore with, obviously, everything being... I don't know what I don't know if that was a good bit of drama or not. But yeah, this obviously not being an issue anymore with um, 
wireless control in quotation marks. No, 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 no. The issue with wireless controllers being that the batteries run low, which is quite annoying. Which is actually been an issue I've been having with the um, the Xbox One, because I've noticed on the Xbox One, if I don't have really good batteries in them, you know, if I use like the sort of the Venom rechargeable ones, they seem to have lost their power to a certain extent. And what tends to happen is I plug them in and they just start if I put the headset on and start doing any voice stuff, um, chatting to people or trying to stream it with voice, it just ticks back off every few seconds. It, it, it suddenly goes, oh no, the battery's dead. Oh, oh no, it's not. But then it, the, the controller just ticks back in again a second later, but it cuts the voice out, which is annoying. I mean, so, I mean, it's fine. I can stick a couple of, like, Duracell in or whatever, or proper batteries, and then it runs fine in the morning, I suppose, but anyway. But. And here we go. Here we go. Hmm. I'm sure watching these loading screens is as scintillating for the viewers as it is for me. Right, here we are. Here we go. If the old man I saw was really my grandfather Edward, then the boy must be. I need to find out if that really was him I saw. Was it my dad? If the old man How? Pictures, maybe? Are there any photos lying around? Let's talk to the old lady again. See what she says. Can't talk to the maid, she's disappeared. Can't talk to cousin Peter because he's downstairs. Um, I don't know where the butler is. The lawyer's out. Um, yeah, that really leaves nothing. Check that. Maybe you want to have something to ask her about. Hmm. Took a minute there. A note about a library. A key. Yeah, so that has not updated since toy. when I first picked Should it up. Even try to read like from the beginning of the game. To all of this? Even though I now know that it does something entirely different. Who is the boy? Yay, a better game.
Hmm. He's workable. I mean, I, I, may, oh, maybe, 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 maybe. I mean, one thing it could be. It could be that. There are a set of photographs here. I have looked at them before. Maybe if I look at them again now, I'll be like, oh, that is it. These are pictures for long ago. Maybe that's that's the boy. But it never actually showed you the picture. This will make it easier to carry. To be sure, perhaps the names are on the back. Yeah. What's this? Looks like it's drawn in blood. That noise coming from behind the picture? Is that I'm, I'm drawn to the picture because of magic? Am I about to have a vision? Game, you're not explaining very well. Happy relentlessly. <laughs> what was the point in that? Great. So that sequence <laughs> That sequence was shorter than the loading times on each end on their own, not even added together. I'm really glad. Thanks, game. I really, I'm really glad you did that. See, see if there's like a patch that <sighs> fixes this. <sighs> Regardless of what I told Miss Cranon, these visions are like nothing I've ever experienced before, and they're getting worse. I, I, mate, it's only you. And it does this. It's like right. I hadn't actually looked at the family photograph properly, but it interrupts me in the middle of trying to do something, to do something stupid. Margaret. She looks happy. I can't imagine her smiling like that these days. She's not good smiling. <sighs> Grandfather Edward. Just as he looked last night. What? Awesome? With an awesome moustache? Can't look at who the girl is or the guy. The boy. How did he provoke Edward into throwing him down the stairs? Still his favorite thing. My family. Yet they're all still strangers to me. Those are his people. Right. So who are these other people in the photo? I mean, don't tell me. Don't or don't even say. I don't know who these people are. Who are these people? Right. Which one of the? Right. Find the grave in the painting. All right. So I haven't got to the chapel yet. Who was the boy? I'm guessing I've got to go and talk to people now. Who do I know who will be where? If I go down this corridor, that takes me to the dining room. In the dining room, I'll be able to speak to the old lady. Maybe the butler. 
<sighs> That's nearly been an hour. I mean, granted, yeah, we've been a little bit faster than that, but... That's nearly been an hour of this game. And I've progressed... Practically nothing. This is this is the problem with this game. So much of it is... is I mean, I know... I know there's the argument that, you know, you can probably play your way through Monkey Island. And, well, you, you literally can play your way through, like, Monkey Island and Monkey Island 2 in, like, an hour and a half. If, as long as you know exactly where to go in what order. To absolutely minimise your footprint wandering around. Danny, I have a uh, photograph. Lady Margaret. Lady Margaret. Yes, David. I don't think you call your grandma Lady Margaret. I saw an old photograph of a boy in the other room. Something tells me she wouldn't be happy if she knew I had it in my pocket. Ah, that was taken in 1894. Young Johnny. Your well, of course, father. I'll bring it up. Having now removed you it. can remember the exact year. It's a funny thing when you reach my age. You can remember dates from decades ago. But not what you had for breakfast. Maybe others can't. <laughs> I had deer brains and scrambled eggs. Who, may I ask, were the others in the picture? That would be your Aunt Clara. And your late great grandmother, the last true Countess of Scarhandu House. At least they got Scarhandu right. My dear Edward, of course. I uh, noticed my father had a scar on his face. How did that happen? <sighs> Falling from a tree, perhaps. I can't recall. But your father was a clumsy child. You are an inoffensive mother. But you remember the date the photograph was taken. Hmm. Lies. I shall take my leave, Lee. Yes. Yes. Cool, so. No. So, from here. Can I actually go out now? Can I go out? Can I go out? Am I supposed to go out into the garden? Or go in shop? Is that the grounds? I mean, I haven't actually seen it. Again, they gave me the big point of, oh, I can't see where, uh, you know, I ran through the window last night, so now, does it let me go outside? Not at the front door, so. Now I can go outside, thank you very much. Even though it's still pouring as well. Doesn't really make much sense. Stay as you are. Of a bowl of soup, actually. Inappropriate music.
Great. You will unfortunately have to put up with me eating my lunch, which is some delicious, delicious soup. Great meat. Mmm, very Scottish with Highland broth mixed in there. Um, good split peas, bacon, and all that. And chicken stock. And chopped up a couple of spring onions. Some celery. Just threw that in. Br brought the stock to the boil. Threw that in. A little salt, a little pepper. Um, a pinch of paprika and a teaspoon of cumin. A little dill. A little glass of Oh, you know, salt and pepper sticks. People think making soup is difficult. Really, it's about the easiest thing you can make. And you can literally make... I'm not turning this into like a creative practical soup. But um, you can literally make soup by just boiling some water, just chucking a stock cube in. And then... And then chucking in like a handful of like leeks and potatoes. A little salt and pepper. Leek and potato soup sounds like probably the easiest soup to make. And if you want to add something extra, just chuck a little salt in. Mmm. Delicious. Oh my, oh, so this one has a, a button for don't go back inside. Whee! I'm glad he got his coat from somewhere. Control. I just keep eating and eating. Well, that's not so good. Why? Okay, that's working. So. That's like this has gone bananas. Yep. As usual, not actually difficult. So again, slightly concerned about the fact that this controller seems to be picking up all kinds of quirky directional controls. Ooh! Is that already recorded? Mm. You could tell it was me. Your footsteps. Maybe. I can the walk of everyone here. Yep, I only arrived yesterday. Well, that's that's rather incredible. Aye, but it is, laddie. But it is. I hear better than most. See more than most of them. Oh, just a little bit of garlic here. Thought I'd have seen the toolbox. Back when he still fixed things around the house. Must be hard to look after the plants when you can barely see them. I had that in my psychic head. Probably didn't look much better before the storm. Oh. 
when you talked about what they did to my father, what did you mean? You shouldn't have come back. You kind of go through what he did as a bairn, and they'll be sick. So his hospitalization was justified then? Not for me to say. Before you think of putting down roots here, you should think on what the poison groom here did to your father. You can't... Groom? No, not really. If you don't mind, this door will no mend itself. I'll it leave you to it then. Wait. Oh, I'll have us in the toolbox. No, you have. You already said that. Cool house. It's nice seeing her at a house like that. Lovely bit. Right. Let's just take these all under the tree. Oh, that must be that one. Take them easy. Bodily bum, bodily bee. Painting. This is the grave I, I saw him at. Waking dream or whatever it was. The grave my father buried something in as a boy. Who buried where? If I could just ah, these vines are too thick. Cut. Taking all these plants. I need something to cut through these. I need to steal a tool box from the a tool thing from the toolbox man. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, water piece. Yeah. There's a pretty cool puzzle with the photo pieces actually. Um, you you collect these photo pieces wandering around the game, and then <coughs> it allows you to do a sort of grade style jigsaw with them, which is quite fun. It's a nice little puzzle. Ooh, locked with a padlock. Andrew will have a key, but I'm not keen on waiting for his return. <laughs> Break into places. That's basically what I've done since I arrived here, tried to break into places. The idea of clearly just hanging around and enjoying and getting to know the places is beyond this game. We have we have absolutely nothing we know nothing about this character, basically, other than he grew up in India. He's not a detective. I don't know why he's got this hunger for knowledge. No character building at all. I mean, sure. I get it. We won't see what happens. I'll talk to you, Cog. Uh, you wouldn't have to have a chapel key, would you? Ain't set a foot in there for years, and I don't intend to either. That'll be a no then. It's a dark place full of madness. Um. And spiders. May I borrow your bolt cutter? Maybe. If I can, what do you need it for? The graves. I would like to tidy them up. That way I can pay my respects properly. Is that a fact? Why is that then? They are my family. They deserve to be remembered. Oh, fair enough, laddie. Just grab it yourself, then. Mm, you're an alright guy. Bolt cut him! Bolt cut him! No, 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 no. See, this is why the holodeck would never work on Star Trek, because at some point you would just be like, ah, they killed this guy, fine. Um, hold him. Clean the leg and broken. It was like in the early Half-Life games where you could actually shoot mission important characters before they gave you the useful information. Hmm? Nobody left to mourn the dead, all care for their graves, it seems. And of course, I'm, I'm only going to do it off this one thing. Which 
because to remove it off of all of them has to make sense. Better. Cecilia Shaw Nim Gordy. Ah, Cecilia. Nell. Let's see if there's something really buried in here. You probably can't fit. Another piece of the castle model. Stained with what seems to be old blood. It's weird. Why did father bury this when he was a child? Because father was strange. But I can't open the damn thing. I've got the bolt cutter and I've got blue keys. I can try to do a bolt cutter. Well, now, a second ago it was just hold it down, now it's tap it. An old ramshackle chapel. An urn. Father. I hope you found your peace. Was that father? When you see it, like they say you were. Never be as near this this curse. This curse of the Gorgons. Or whatever it is. I think you may have passed it on to me. Maybe it's all my fault. Candle with me. I'll probably bring it everywhere. Oh, cool. Being the chronicle of the family Gordon, as laid down by Sir Drummond Gordon, the year of our Lord, 1413. Local legend speaks of this particular plane as being inhabited from time immemorial. Magnetic, elaborately carved Pictish stones stand as timeless evidence of this. As for the locals, they appear prideful of the counsel they delight in giving to visitors. Traveler, beware. I think never in all the lands of the Tyson lands, the greater. The Celtic people the arrived in this place the bones of Castellar. Stop traveling with them the bloodlines that would eventually I spawn the Gordon clan. Using their superior numbers, knowledge, and machines of war, they swiftly conquered the primeval Picts. With them, they brought to their religion and druid clerics. The magics these wise men used did shape forever the lands, even Bravo. until this present day. It is said that the sempiternal burden our family carries rose at that is that like what the seventh generation of them? It is well recorded how the Empire of Rome did fail to tame the wayward Scots, that they did even raise a barrier to protect their mighty empire. It is wow. What is seldom told is the truth behind their defeat. Scottish lasers. Our ancestors drew upon ancient powers to aid their victory, powers not easily fathomed by the fragile human mind. That seems this unlikely. Aid did come at the greatest. Settled, a price we will continue to pay until the last Gordon passes to dust. The dusty Gordons. For the centuries, we Gordons made the land our own. Others did bow to us. Why shouldn't we read them in order? Like, like the they should be like that one, that one, that one. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, tragedy and madness did fester in our foundations. We held fast and steered the land through vile English attack and worse. In time, the Gordons and the land became one. Well, 
with me. There's nothing there. Some pages have been ripped out. The only thing left seems to be some kind of family oath. We will always in blood do something. we are bound to the land we protect. Werewolves. To the truths we alone hope to see. Werewolves. I shall watch my life. Lest my clan should suffer, I shall forfeit my spirit to hold the darkness at bay. In blood we are bound. Oh, the day wow. they just start turning a little scrap at top when all the rest of them have pages and pages. It's called winter mood. Where is that cold coming from? Oh, there's that spooky, unpleasant coldness that seems to... Okay. Doesn't it turn into the abyss? Yeah, because that's what you want to do. Is this what madness feels like? It can't be real. Mm -hmm. Oh crap. We now appear to be underwater, even though clearly this place was never underwater. At least we know it's madness. <coughs> we should find out whatever happened about that um can I swim? No. We should find out whatever happened about um the darkness follow up. Maybe the other side of that got released. No, it did. Oh, follow up. Not a bit of kelp. It's kelp. All this looks like the bottom of a lake. Yeah, it is. Something interesting is at the bottom of the lake. Oh. No, a, a, a fish. <coughs> well, apparently, I thought that would have turned the microphone off. Apparently, it doesn't. What are you trying to show me? A fish. Yep. A terrifying fish with a face of a potato. No, I... What do you mean? Don't make life difficult for yourself. There's a fresh wound across her stomach. The figure up there must be... Edward. He did a murder. The body. Quite a stunning. Just hold this log while I chip your stomach open. Um, so I wasn't going to shut down. <coughs> this is safe. While having, I'm climbing up the outside of this while having some kind of vision and or madness. A note. I'm taking my baby with me to save it from this rotten family. Find my child. <laughs> Stranger. Are you alright? Oh, I got quite. I'm good. I'm good. I'm all good. See them. Uh, did you. Did you see her? 
She... Uh, drowned. Calm down, you're in shock. What were you doing clambering about in here? <laughs> oh, if I told you, 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 you you'd think me mad. Oh, it's just what your father said to me. What? You knew my father. How? I treated your father at the asylum. And Dr. Leah Faber. The asylum? Let's get you back to the castle and make sure you're okay. What's this about an asylum? As I said, your father was admitted. Why? Who did that to him? I did. But unfortunately, he managed to escape. Damn him, the right. Right. Hold on a minute. How dare you come in here and... Told you. Your father was a madman. A complete and utter madman. Don't mind me. Please continue. What did you come here for? I'm not sure your father's story is finished yet. So sure is. And there are some things I still need to make my peace with. Well, what right did you have to lock my father up in a in a madhouse? I was his doctor. I understand you were in shock, but you have no right to speak to me in such a way. I was trying to help him. He's dead. Capital job. Now, hold on just a minute. Oh, ooh, neck broken. Oh, she slipped and broke her neck. Yeah, but I saw that flash of blue light as well. It was just such a terrible accident. She slipped and fell and broke her neck on the thing into a pile of blood. Must have slipped on the pile of blood. Clearly, that is what happened. Yeah. If only she could have just said to me, to her face, to her face, to my face. Ah, shit, she's still here. I might take a break here. For all our sakes. Eddie, oh, God, what you'll you know be what all right. Skin. Pull yourself together. <laughs> I suggest nobody else goes down there. Wait. We should keep the room intact until the police can get here. I shall alert them first thing in the morning. It was an unfortunate accident. An accident? You think so? 
just after the madman's son turned up at our door. Oh, idiot. You were the one standing over her body with blood on your hands. How dare you? I was too late. I was trying to help her. She... She... <laughs> <clears throat> there, there, my sweet boy. Yeah, where Let's get you to bed. Yeah, Lincoln pit. Angus, would you? Of course. I think we will all benefit from a good night's sleep. I'd like to sleep in the doctor. What the doctor? I know you may have no doctor. reason to, but I need you to trust me. I'm the only one on your side when it comes to your father's death. Lady Margaret certainly isn't. But if I told you what I saw in the chapel. He'd have me in a padded cell, just like my father. Why did you come here? To make sure my father was successfully in the ground? With all due respect, Mr. Gordon, I will not allow you to speak to me or about my work in such a tone. I tried everything I could to aid your father. Your father was heavily drugged when he was brought to me, to prevent any further violent outburst of soul Lady Margaret had said. But something felt wrong. Even then. There was always a good reason. So, what was my father like when you locked him up? I didn't just lock him up. I tried to help him. He was convinced he was carrying some ancient curse that he was being haunted by evil. I wish I had reached him, had been able to reach him. Maybe if I threw you a bone, you'd get off my back. Throw her a bone, non-metaphorically. Ancient Hebrew. He used to babble about a dark force threatening him and our family. Was that why he moved you to India? To remove himself from this place? I believe so. And yet here you are, in the what very place he sought to protect you from. Who knows? Maybe there is an ancient evil in this place. An evil that drags us back no matter how far away we get. Even from the other side of the world. Father was obsessed with the history of the family for as long as I can remember. Did your father actually believe his family was out to get him? Who knows? Though I think what really scared him was beyond the physical. And what do you think? Was your father right? Are there things beyond the physical? I have other things to worry about right now. Things like a drowning woman floating in thin air. If you really want to help me, I need to find out what the maid knew. What Lady Margaret and Angus didn't want her to tell me. You believe it got her killed? Maybe. What I saw in the chapel, it has to be real. She must have drowned herself down at the loch. Because if it's all in my mind, like father, like son... We need to examine the maid's body in the cellar. To find out who killed her? To be sure she was murdered before we start pointing fingers. Angus will have the key. Unless we can find another way in. So clearly there's another way in. Uh, I've got a double key too. Oh, oh. Rory's not one for cleaning up after himself.
좀 정도도 너무 있죠. Daughter? We need to examine the maid's body in the cellar. To find out who killed her? To be sure she was... frames some kind of method of getting into the cellar <sighs> not like this oh, suddenly suddenly the key actually makes sense Suddenly, it looks markedly different than how it did before. Okay. Yeah, that is not at all what it looked like earlier in the game. to separate these two. It's clearly another piece. I've never seen a key like this before. It feels like father wanted me to keep it a secret. Definitely pieces of this key missing. <sighs> Not like this. Uh, the castle model's too big. Be like at the back somewhere. I don't really want to use the, the castle model piece at the back. Around the back of the house, over there somewhere. Clearly can't do this bit yet. Ah, okay. The 
かないってことで読みつけては。うん。Um, Maybe turn up a little bit. I'll do it if that helps. Pretty much crank as high as it's going to go.、Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, no, it sounds all right to me. Yeah. I mean, it might be a bit low, but. It's cranked up as high as it's going to go in this system. Yeah. I can maybe. Okay, that's better. Right. Still good? Or. Cool. Nice one. Yeah.、Um, no, I've, I've, I've gotten, dude, I've gotten really, really into like, using Twitch recently.、Um, certainly watching things on it. It's quite good fun. A wonderful sense of community. But then at the same time, also, it's a lot better in just trying to get me through playing sort of games like this, where a lot of the time it would be like, I can't be really be bothered. But. <clears throat> I mean, obviously, I was going to play this anyway, but yeah, this is streaming through、um, through the app from the Xbox to my PC, so I mean, that's. Well, yeah. That's fair enough. I've read enough to know Edward was a dangerous man, perhaps even a murderer. Why does Margaret still hold him in such high esteem? Because Margaret's mental. You can go direct. You can go direct from the Xbox to, to Twitch, but you can't use the camera unless you've got a Kinect camera.、Um, at least as far as I know, I've never tried. If you want to do. You can stream. Basically, what I'm doing here is this is a, a video capture. Of what's on this screen, on this monitor.、Um, so, I mean, if I was to drag, well, if I literally was to drag Twitch onto here, it would do that. And yeah. So you get the,、um, you would get the, the resultant image, which is the only way to do it through the Xbox app.、Um, Obviously, I could just twitch, go to twitch directly from the Xbox, but then I couldn't have the camera.、Um, and I, I still get problems with the, like the, ear, the headset cutting out if I'm doing that for some reason. I think it's basically just due to the,、um, the rubbish kind of batteries I've been using. If you'd just like to wait out here, sir. Why? I need to speak with Eddie. The young master and her ladyship are otherwise detained. I'll otherwise detain you in a minute, you'll get. May I remind you, this is my house? May I remind you that it is not yours yet? Might as well try moving a mountain out of the way. Why give me the option if you're going to give me the option? Fair enough. Fair enough. There's no doubt about his loyalty, nor with whom it lies. Uh, Mr. McKinnon. You may not, sir.、Uh... That's a fair point. I'm just concerned that some of the game in the cellar may have been caught illegally. Poached by young Eddie there. Well. Key, please. I'd be happy to get rid of the evidence. 
for ready to be found poaching on another family's estate could prove embarrassing. <laughs> You're barely part of this family. Oh, God. But sir. you have a point. Of course I have a point. It could be, the reason that actually could sound better is this is a much better headset. Um, this is a... This headset is... Um, I do, and well. I don't think Lady Margaret would take kindly to any such embarrassment. Uh, upon reflection, removing the evidence may be the best course of action. Here you are, sir. Um, yeah, this headset is actually the one um, we were actually sent it as a, a review one for Squiggle. Um, it's like a 120 quid headset that works on everything, basically. So, um, I tried to get it to work at first. It probably actually would still work with the Xbox, but again, it was always the problem of the audio cutting in and out. That if I tried it with some Duracells in it, but then again, I picked up another headset anyway, so it's, there's no point worrying about it at this point. But no, it's pretty good. I mean, this is basically the microphone I use for any audio stuff I'm doing at all because it's it's really quite sensitive. And really good audio um, over the cans. I mean, it's it's technically only stereo, but I mean, it's it's really it does sort of really good full five point one. So you really get a sense of if something sounds behind you, it kind of sounds behind you, even though it's not. Oh, for a run button. Library, I don't want to go in there. Uh, where's the quickest way to sell it? It's this way, isn't it? Quick being a euphemism. Or indeed, sarcasm. That weird sort of tinnitus ringing sound? That's, um,. Where's she going? That's part of the game. Just uh, in case you were wondering. It genuinely is part of the game. See, I wanted to use the dumb waiter. I mean, I know you can use the dumb waiter because there's an achievement for using the dumb waiter. So clearly, you can use the dumb waiter. Good thing I found that map. He would have never given up the Selic key otherwise. And there would have had to have been another way to do it. And of course, I'm going to go down there and not touch any of the stuff because consistency and that sort of thing is just irrelevant. Always bugs me that, especially in films where someone says, I'm going to go up to the such and such and do this, and then like a week later nobody ever brings up the fact that they never actually did that. Where is she? Over here somewhere? Dead lady? Ugh. Oh, the deer's gone. They seem to be a house full of carnivores. A man who clearly doesn't understand what a horrific way to die. how a pantry works. Just tread all over the evidence. At the behest of a doctor. Her neck's been broken, and with some considerable force, it seems. Her necklace looks like gold, albeit a plain design. And it's missing any form of pendant. Still, well beyond a maid's salary. It... It what? Whew, 
Where's that sudden draft coming from? Mr. Gordon? Your stag Speak is to me, please. here, my little doe. Little doe? Not exactly the usual way to address the staff. David, can you hear me? <laughs> what? <laughs> So you can die in this game? <laughs> yeah, the voice actors really... None of the voice actors in this are, are great, and I'm pretty sure all of them are putting on... I mean, uh, not the worst Scottish accents I've ever heard, but none. Of, I'm pretty sure these are all kind of rather... Do a, now, we shall do a Scottish accent. Ah. Oh, Scottish. I see you come down... To get some water from the well, sort of thing, you know, it's, a, it's all very silly. So apparently I can die in this scene somehow. Um, that's new. At no point in the game have you ever been able to be killed by anything. And I'm not entirely sure what happened there that I was supposed to do differently. They seem to be... Yeah. Water. Right. So did, did, I, did I wait too long? And with I some considerable to... force, it seems. <laughs> Her necklace looks like gold, albeit exactly. plain design. And it's missing any form of pendant. Still, well beyond a mate. Sahala, re, he, 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 fade to black. This is probably the kind of game where you've got a time limit to to figure this stuff out. Where's that sudden draft coming no. from? Not exactly the usual way to address the staff. Okay, so I'm not to get too close. Speak to me, please. We're all here, sir. All down in the dark. We're... Something's coming. The attic, sir. She's in the attic. What just happened? You look like you. Well, that was really clunky. Kind of trance. Perhaps the lack of sleep is affecting me, or the visions that you think me insane if I describe them to you. You need to learn to trust me. I am on your side, remember? So you say, but I remember you locked my father up too. The tiger can't change its stripes. Or technically, the wolf never sheds its fur. Right, so there's... Bloop, bloop, bloop. Wash your hands in the muck drawer. Ugh, that's horrible. Just as, <laughs> not as horrible as if he licks his fingers after he's finished. French. I don't speak French. I do. It says for Clara, forever yours. Who's Clara? <laughs> I don't know. Yet another relative, perhaps? Probably. We should ask someone who's been around here for longer. Of course we should. How did you know it was there? The pendant, I mean. I saw it in if I told creepy you, vision. You wouldn't believe me. A hunch. Eddie gave this to her. We should ask him to his face just what his relationship was with her. This isn't another ghost story, is it? Look, if it... you wouldn't understand, I can't... Act. What I do understand is that we cannot accuse a man of murder without proof. Well, her accent's slipping again. In the sense that... The scene really did rip when she tried to get away from him. Yeah. And then she got dead. But the question is, did he actually straight up murder her, or was it somebody else? Because I'm not sure I saw her fall and break her neck there. I mean, I 
presume that probably happened, but no, in this game it'll probably turn out to be that actually it was somebody came in the ghost of some Huchtebeduchte came in here and killed everybody after that point. I'm lost in the basement. I'm trapped in the closet! Help! This way? No. This way. And this way. And this way. I mean, if I'd actually been down here more than once previously in the game. Okay. Right. Is that this way? Ah, there we are. to the garden. Apparently it's a good place to go in the evening. Oh I know. Oh no, it really is. Well apparently this is this is the fourth game um in a series. Um and the original games were proper kind of point and click games, but they had a sort of four three D background. Um so I mean Alone in the Dark possible comparison. I mean, it is a bit more Alone in the Darky, but the original games were a little bit more... From what I've seen of the pictures, they were a little bit more kind of... What's it called? Um, I have no mouth, but I'm a scream. Sort of that style of game. Um, that sort of weird, not entirely 3D, not entirely animated style. Because this is this is kind of a remake of the original Black Mirror, or the Black Mirror as it was called. What is it? <laughs> okay, oh, it's the babysitter. <laughs> Stop monkeying around. Come with me. Come inside, Nip. Don't go. Can I just have a few? It's moments? not a request, girl. Don't worry. I'll be fine. What's happening to me? David? No, I've never heard of them either. Right. I mean it was literally just called the Black Mirror. Um because it was Castle Black Mirror, the original game. And I think it was in somewhere in, in Germany or something. Um certainly wasn't as far as I know it certainly wasn't set in a weird Scottish castle in the middle of nowhere. Oh! The blind guy. <laughs> the walking zombie man. Do you know who Clara was? I know who she was, I. And? Young Eddie is her bairn. Lady Mallory, as she was. She stayed on in the house after Victor passed, but she wasn't here much before. I didn't ken her that well. I'll speak to you later, Rory. Aye, I'm sure you will, laddie. Aye. Knights are fair drawn in. Is it going to let me go back to the chapel? I probably shouldn't go back to the chapel, but why not? I might, yeah, might as well do something. Yeah, there's there's three games in the Black Mirror series, and this is their attempt to reboot it. And yeah, it's not going amazingly. It's interesting. This is the same lot that did um, the Raven, which was a game that came out, and they gave away the first episode of it with Games with Gold. Um, 
It was kind of a murder. It, it was literally a murder on the Orient Express kind of pastiche, where you played um, a kind of bumbling Belgian police officer. Which, having now actually seen the the recent adaptation, the Kenneth Branagh adaptation of Murder on the Express. I have to thank you again for coming to my aid in there. I'm glad I found you in time. Thankfully, Mr. Harrison had made an educated guess as to your whereabouts. Mm -hmm. The, um... Yeah, uh, having now seen Murder in the Air Express, the Kenneth Branagh adaptation that came out last month, I can totally see that the Raven was clearly supposed to be a pastiche of, um... Murder on the Orient Express. It was slightly less clunky than this, but it was still pretty clunky. Hence the fact that um, I never bothered playing it because I, I actually have I have the full game of the Raven. Because again, it was uh, it was something I think they sent us to review, and it was awful. But I never wanted to replay it even not even for the chivos, as they say. But no, if you're bored um, and you're you're doing Twitch stuff, I've set my channel to basically you can you can do hosting streams. So mine's set to automatically host several people um, that I quite like watching. So quite often you'll find my channel will just be churning away in the background if you log in and. Um, if you if you follow my channel, um, which you should, because it does me some strange esoteric good. I don't understand what it does, but it does something. Um, uh, there is only one way out of the dining room, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. So in that case, the. Um, Yeah, you'd see various other people, but some of whom are, you know, really good. Well, they're all really good. They're all lovely people, in case they watch this. They're all lovely people. Um, I think. You done it, you weird inbred psychopath. Nobody in this house is particularly chatty. Not even when I have an actual question for them. You, you haven't asked them anything yet, you dumbass. There's no doubt about it. Okay, right. If Eddie really gave her that pendant, he might be her killer, and I might not be losing my mind. So, I still can't get in and talk to them. Maybe once I find out what really happened to Father here, I can finally talk to my. Hey, hey, hey. We got our bullshit.
more about the drowned woman in the vision. Maybe the lawyer's back in the library. Thus far, this guy spent a ridiculous amount of time in this game unconscious. <clears throat> The trouble with this is, you know, I, I, I appreciate any game, I appreciate people put hard work into making games, and I appreciate that people have made an adventure game and they want it to be interesting and not, you know, straightforward, take you five minutes and then boom, 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 you're done. But when a game has loading times like this between screens, you shouldn't be running around from place to place, from room to room without knowing what you're doing, having to then spend more time watching a loading screen than you actually are playing the game. She mentioned the attic, it must be the attic. Come on, slow poke with the candle. Great, now there isn't even an option to try the door. Are you convinced? We need more than a first name. Yeah, well, they probably did. Well, they certainly would. I think you can buy them all on good old games. I think they were about £5 each or something like that. I mean, I'm not sure I'd buy them for £5 each when you can get all the game, all the Gabriel Knight games for about a pound each. Ooh, that reminds me. A humble. I've read enough to know um, a dangerous man. A humble Bundle are doing a deal at the moment, where if you go on the humblebundle.com, um, you can get um, XCOM Declassified. You know the the rubbish first person shooter. I mean, I say it's rubbish. I never played it, but it got kind of slated as just being an incredibly mediocre first person shooter based in the XCOM universe. Um, that. Uh, it's currently free, so you can get that for free just by going to the page and clicking a button. So it's not bad. And keeps wandering off by himself. No. <laughs> I think that might be this controller, though. What's your way to turn down the sensitivity on the controller? Is there anywhere? No. No. Try in here. Yeah, well. I picked it up, you know, freeze free. As like I said, if I want to do a bit more Twitch streaming and stuff, then it's probably good to have a few random games I can just chuck on for a laugh. Want to magically find something here? Nope. No, 
it's all just the same stuff. The maid could never have afforded this. This is a trinket of the rich, not a servant. Poor Can't read what that says. For your something. Amusement? Poultry eternellement. Imper forever in perpetuity. The maid like could never have afforded this. Know. This is a trinket of the rich, not a servant. Hmm. No doubt I can do anything more to this. No. No, nada. Would there be? I spoke to the guy outside. Can't speak to that pair. The lawyer would be the natural person to talk to. Or to. Hmm. Almost take the strange lady back to my bedroom. See what she says to that. Or hopefully the gun will just say, no! I can't take a, a fine young lady and a doctor into my bedroom. That would be improper. Do I need anything from in there right now? That's what I thought. I don't know, do you need anything? How the hell would I know? I'm only the guy playing the game and I haven't got a clue. <sighs> so where have I not been? We've been to the we've been to the kitchen, we've been to the cellar, we've been to the parlour. There's not really that many more places to go. I mean the, the library. I can't get into the attic. She died in the cellar and I couldn't find anything else there. Can't open the desk. The desk, which is usually full of useful information. So nothing in the upstairs of the library. Good sound effect. Doesn't do me any good though. Doesn't explain anything. Doesn't help. Now well, look at our lovely shadow effects. Ah! The belongings of Eddie's mother. Why couldn't I look at that the other day? Hmm. Thing is, half this stuff, it's stuff I've already seen that he just doesn't take any interest in. And that's kind of the annoyance of it. Thank you for your last letter. My heart soars with every word of yours I read. I touch the ink and imagine your fingers are just inches from mine. That we can almost touch. That I can almost feel the warmth of your skin once more. 
Young Edward grows more like his father each day. You'd be amazed how he shares your looks. I long for the day that this terrible war is ended and you return home to us so we can be a family once more. I shall write to you again soon. Know that until then you are always in our hearts. Your loving wife, Clara. The date. She was writing this when the death notice arrived. Oh, the poor woman. I haven't looked at the death notice yet. I regret to inform you that your husband, Corporal Victor Mallory, number 874511, was killed in action with the enemy on the day of the 14th of September in Ypres. Your husband was involved in an advance against enemy lines. While he and his fellow soldiers fell, the action was successful, and you can take comfort in knowing his sacrifice saved many lives. What, what? It was not possible to get his remains away, and he was buried in a soldier's grave. <clears throat> Please accept the condolences of all the company. Yours, Captain Arthur Jones, 4th Army. Recognize that? The necklace. Is that... A young Eddie and his mother, Clara. <laughs> Where was she? I might be able to see what I was doing if, you know, the bloody room with the candle was anywhere near me. Please come downstairs. That's not enough information. Investigate Ilsa's death. Right. Did I not do that enough? Let's go to the front room. We haven't looked there. Or the Grand Hall, or whatever you want to call it. We haven't been in there yet. Nothing, eh? We I didn't press the button. We've been in the garden. I did not wish to go back in the garden. Garden takes too long to load.
you know. You see? The necklace wa You're right. We need to s But how could you Cousin Eddie might be a murderer. How I What so I do need I do need to talk to him. I I knew that. I've been trying to talk to him. Again, this is all stuff that if it didn't take such ridiculously interminable amounts of time to load every new bit of the map, then it wouldn't matter because you just were like bip 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 bip. But it's going to take me... From the garden, it's going to take me... Three load screens. And this pointless walk down this corridor. Although I do like the way he shimmies down the corridor like a supermodel. Like, they've obviously had one walk animation. And it appears to have been done by somebody off of uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. Eddie, I need to ask you about the maid. About Elsa. You didn't know her! I know that you and her were... That is to say, I know you had feelings for her. What? That's poppycock! You're as deranged as your father was! David, really? You go too far with this behaviour. The police will be here soon. Would you not prefer to clear this up before they get here in case they link Eddie with the crime? Now look here, young lady. How dare you speak? That's enough. Eddie. You gave her this. It was your mother's. Uh, I did. It was. Eddie! Eddie has bad skin. I was just trying to cheer her up. She has nothing, and I had no need of it. You know she sends... You know she sent most of her money home to her grandmother. Her clothing was ripped, as if someone was trying to force themselves upon her. I would never have hurt her. My little doe. Strange thing to call the help. Uh, how? It was just... Just harmless fun, that's all. You're a worthless liar. You think she thought being pressed against a dead animal was harmless fun? How do you know? It's true. Elsa and I... I would never have laid a finger on her. We were in love. I helped her with everything. Even with her chores, uh, uh, Rose and... That's quite enough. Eddie, you are obviously upset. And you are not helping, David. Angus, will you please take the young master upstairs? And as you strangle him. Eddie actually reminds me of Eddie from Silent Hill 2 more than a little bit. I think you have caused quite enough disruption here. We shall settle this heritage dilemma first thing tomorrow. I don't think so. I have more questions now than ever about my father, the maid, this whole damn house. Have a care, David. Need I remind you of your father's temper? I would never. Given the current mental state of Master Eddie, who should be a part of the heritage considerations, any discussion on the topic would be futile at this point. Would you not agree? Thank you, Leah. 
Maybe it's a good thing you're here after all. <laughs> Impudent brats! <laughs> What's going on? Did you notice when Margaret got angry? When Eddie mentioned... What was it? Chores involving a rose. What, what does that mean? Something about the garden, perhaps? But we could ask Rory. Or is it about the attic? Oh, I wonder. Whatever it is, it's something she doesn't want us to know. The attic? I saw the maid coming down the stairs with a tray. But there's nothing up there but an empty room. You've never been up in the attic? How would you know what's in the attic? You've never been there. Nothing around here I can interact with. Nope. Well, let's just go straight to the attic. It's near closest. It is quite a linear game. This. I mean, yeah. It, although I do think. There has been a couple of points where I think that there might be an alternate option. Like, for example, I mean, you, you didn't have to eat the whole breakfast at breakfast, and there was an achievement for eating everything for breakfast, but you could literally just decide not to. I mean, I don't think that's, that's a very small thing, but I presume it would affect some dialogue options. But then there was stuff like... Um, like the fact that if I hadn't looked at that map that showed that they'd been poaching, I couldn't have used that comment to get the key. To the basement of the guy. So I presume at that point I would have had to have found another way. And there's another bit where you find a piece of wire and you find a cleaver and you get the choice to use one or the other to break open a, a locked cabinet. Now I presume you would just use the, um, if you use the, I mean again there's an achievement for opening it without leaving any scratches. And again, right. well, no, because um, the map was actually in um, was actually in the the basement, so you would have been locked out of the basement until that point. Uh, sorry, at at that point, so you couldn't have gone back in and found it. So there must have been another way to do it, or I presume there's another way to do it. How would one get into the attic? Hmm. That cabinet, which I now can't use anymore. Um, where am I best to go? The garden, maybe? If ever there was a game which needed a map, so you could just go click here, click here, click here, and it would just take you straight there. This is it. It's funny actually though. It was like going back and playing through um, uh, Monkey Island, the Monkey Island 2. Um, you forget how much wandering around there is and how, how little fun that is with a controller and how much easier that is with a mouse and keyboard so you can just sit there and go, or well, mainly just a mouse, so you can just go click and then you're there. You know, the guy will walk from one bit to the other side of the map. But it is the way of things these days. Yeah, 
there should be a door that leads to the garden. It was. Um, it really was a grind. Um, the first one especially because I'd never played it before, and the second one at least I could remember most of the the puzzles. Um, which is one of the reasons I could never be bothered trying to get the complete all in like an hour achievement. Because, I, I mean, you could just use a guide and go bit, 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 bit. But to be honest, the, um, doing it with a controller just really bored me senseless. I think to a certain extent I've kind of gone off adventure puzzlers a little bit. Um, I might try to play uh, the remastered version of um, what's it called, the one with Manny Cavalera, um, Grim Fandango, and I just the found that. Oh God! He just said I'll go out and talk to him, and now you don't want to go out and talk to him. Wait, maybe he's got some tools in his. a game that needs a hint system maybe I'll talk to her you see the uh, you're right but uh, cousin we already talked to cousin Eddie I'll not be able to talk to cousin Eddie because he'll be locked in but maybe there's something in my room She took a tray up to the attic. What could be up there? I can't imagine. Somebody's flimmin' inbred, deformed relative or something like that. This is a gothic horror. Yeah, Victorian gothic horror doesn't tend to work without at least a little bit of creepy incest. That tends to be how this works. <laughs> I can't remember who it was. I was talking to somebody the other day who'd been sitting watching Crimson Peak. And they were bored senseless by it. And this halfway through, I think they were like, "I might give up on this movie. Please tell me it doesn't end up with like, with like the the husband and wife turning out to be brother and sister." <laughs> it was like, "Yeah, just stop watching now. Not a good film. Not a good film at all. Beautiful film. Really, really nicely one. Um, nicely made one. Made by the. It's uh, Guillermo del Toro. Um, so of course it all looks, you know, fantastic." Utter, utter garbage story. See, well, yeah, you say that, but I mean, Numa. I think the difference is Numa's a first person game. So the control system doesn't seem quite so clunky. I mean, I had it a couple of moments. But Numa um, and um, the Turing Test and various other ones. Obviously, Portal, stuff like that. The fact that they've got that. Um, First person control scheme makes it a little bit more intuitive. I've read. No, I can't. I haven't got anything else. So I can't go there. Do I need anything from in there right now? Maybe. How would I know? speak to him or we could try we could speak to the gardener but we can't speak to the gardener or we could try the attic so which is it is it that or is it the attic I really don't want to get to the point where I end up having to look up a guide to get through this but frankly some aspects of this are starting to grate Find out more about the drowned woman in the vision. Find out why she was in the attic. So I tried to prevent. 
kind of going to see what I This had better not be the dumbwaiter. Now, finally, I'm going to have to use the dumbwaiter again in the attic. The next question is, if that was the case, where do you get into the dumbwaiter form from? I need a hint. Right. Oh, okay. Well, that makes no sense. Well, I looked up the thing. <laughs> Apparently, the next place I'm actually supposed to go is back into the garden. Because I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to have figured out from what I saw there that there's something in some part of the garden that I have no idea about. I know they mentioned Rory, but I went out and spoke to Rory, and nothing doing. So from that, I'm supposed to figure out that I should be in the garden. And I'm supposed to find some hitherto undiscovered bit of the garden. And then who knows from there. I mean, I suppose I would have figured it out eventually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying. It's just that unfortunate game thing where they're like, well... But of course, why would you not have thought of doing X, Y, Z? Thing that makes no sense. Yeah, let's do it. They mentioned the rose, yeah, but then was the rose in the garden? I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe the roses are something outside. I mean, there's a there's like a, a glass house in the garden. But it annoys me more because I already went out and tried to speak to Rory, the old um, gardener in the garden. And I feel like that should have been 
more helpful. And again, I think the problem is also you, as you start to lose patience, you start not caring because it's like, well, well why can't it just be simple? Why can't it just be simple? It takes so long to get anywhere. You feel like the the amount of amount of loading time. I mean, come on, how long has this been going on now? I genuinely might for for the review. I genuinely might go through this and tally up, like sort of vaguely how much right they were running about this tree here weren't they the ghosty lady and stuff you can go this way I tried to go that way oh that was when the game stopped working properly maybe you could always go down there well that could be my fault well not my fault but the fault of the fact that the controller decided to oh, go on the fritz. Stunning. Not as stunning as you. How <laughs> curious! Come and look at this. I don't wanna. End it all. I do like how the fact that in this game it constantly changes from being referred to as the lake to the loch to the lake to the loch. Look, they form a clear circle. This can't be a fluke. It looks like one of the stones is missing. I have you enough stone to weigh yourself down with. <laughs> I think I murdered it. You see? The neck. You're right. But cousin Ed. Oh God! Just something's carved into each one. You see? Oh no! I'm... Stop it! Stupid game! I've never seen a rose like this before. Oh. I have. The gardener, Rory. He brought some down from the glass house. <laughs> Let's run pointlessly across the heather to somewhere. Is this going to suddenly just make me appear back where I was before? Even though it's the opposite direction. Or is there actually more to this garden? Is there a whole load of stuff in this garden that, that would actually be quite cool? And more places that need to be investigated. Hmm. All right, okay, so that made no sense. So I went down there, walked a tiny little bit, and then came right across the other side. So Rory, do you know something about roses? That's an unusual looking rose. I noticed one lying by the side of the loch. Aye. Aye, that's a me. <laughs> a flower for the flower of Skahandu, Cecilia. My aunt. They're for her. I grew them for her. She loved the roses, did Cecilia. No, the red ones, though. Made her think of blood, you kin. Forgive me, but wouldn't it be more fitting to place them on her grave? The loch is her grave. She's no there, is she, laddie? That's not where she rests. And I don't much stand by your modern god. Rory, what happened to her? What happened to Cecilia? 
I'm not in the mood to open old wounds, laddie. There are some strange markings carved into the stones on the shore. Runes, aye. I'm old-fashioned, <laughs> I suppose. Still hold to the old ways. No, he's an old Scottish so person. They all, they all look like that, because in for a long time. that's how I this game works. That. Your precious science doesn't have all the answers, lassie. May I have some of the roses, Rory? I'd like to place them on Cecilia's grave. No! What she to you? You didn't ken her? No, I didn't. But she's family. And besides, Father always spoke fondly of her. He would even smile as he talked about playing in the gardens with her as a child. He did, did he? Aye, well, that's good to ken. I should have some left in the glass house. I'll speak to you later, Rory. I am sure you will, laddie. Ugh. Terrifying anti-aliasing going on in the background there. Artifact. Sorry, lassie, but you can't go in. It's for family only. <laughs> Just hold on a moment. No, it's okay. I quite understand. You go ahead, and I'll wait here for you. Can I please have the, the lantern? Because... Aye, you must. Aye, you must. No. Nope. I love that. She just like hands on her hips. That's the that's the standing waiting pose. Mm. Oh this this fucking game, man. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like I have green fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, mate. <laughs> Maybe I'm off murky brown fingers. Uh, starting to putrefy, but... <clears throat> These are... Dead as dodos. Hard to raise anything beautiful here. Ever since Cecilia's gone. I'll get over it. Jesus Christ. She died like a hundred years ago. Are these plants, laddie? Cecilia's roses. They're beautiful. I like to think so. I can't tell because I'm blind, well, but I know. The thing that grows here. They're the only things I water. Can you tell me about Cecilia? <laughs> what was she like? She was a lovely lassie, but uh, she had more than her share of troubles. Just look at his tattoos. Grandfather Edward. You can well enough, son. You said she wasn't in her grave. Aye, that I did, that I did. She got did up she and moved. Drown. She did. Killed herself. Her body was never found. Now all I have of her is my memories. And they are not what they were. And this. And what? A, a table. Looking to break some more locks, laddie. That is exquisite. Cecilia made this. She made it, I, For me. Girl must have cut her fingers a hundred times. Blood magic. On the thorns, you can. Oh, of course, I can. Let's do the psychic bit. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh no, please. I, <laughs> I really hope it's not going to turn out one of these things and we're going to see a young, happy version of Rory the Gardener. It's going to be like, <laughs> it's going to be like Father Jack during springtime. <laughs> Shablam! You are unworthy of the name Gordon. 
Get away from her, you coward! <sighs> Lost. You monster! Who is that old woman? It takes courage to confront Edward like that. The saccateurs Edward used, they ended up in this corner. What just happened? I could ask you the same thing. You started <coughs> to talk to yourself. And then you were throwing your arms about like you were fighting something. I couldn't see what. You started bawling and the last <coughs> came in to see what was going on. She tried to settle you, but you just went for her. Right. I saw an old lady. She wore a long, flowing dress. Her, her voice was strong, determined. Sounds like Rosemary. She was Lady Margaret's mother. Was Cecilia not able to have children? Did that anger Grandfather Edward? Maybe you can see well enough too, son. Maybe you can. It wasn't her. It was her husband. He was the bother. Couldn't, uh, <clears throat> you can? Hmm? I think so, yes. I Not enough lead in his pencil! Okay. Cecilia for it. For picking the wrong man for her meat. <laughs> You'll be fine, laddie. You just need some fresh air. This place can get to you. <clears throat> the secretary should be here they are how can i know this seems awfully accurate for a forgotten memory the crack is right there edward was furious seems like him and great grandmother rose didn't see eye to eye that's why through secretaries are Be gone. Be go wow. Trust your instincts, laddie. Hmm. <sighs> Okay. Oh, look at that. 99902 achievements. That's great. I'll only need another 100 to get to the magical six figures. David, Joy! Are you alright? Am I alright? Jesus Christ, you're the one I was strangling. Am I alright? I should be asking you. Oh. I'm so sorry I hurt you. I don't know what happened. Don't worry. I faced much worse in the asylum. She's tough. I don't think it's possible to face her. Sorry again. Maybe Not don't even with outside her. Like a naughty phaser. Next time. <laughs> yes, quite. I think that Edward may be responsible for the death of my aunt Cecilia. Not directly, 
She drowned herself in the lock. I think that Edward drove her to it. Old families usually have a skeleton or two in the cupboard. Yes, but my family has a graveyard full. I feel like the madness that runs through this family, through these walls, is, is starting to seep into me too. I can help you, but you need to open up. You need to start talking to me. Talk. We need to no, talk. You would not believe me if I told you. <laughs> Stubborn, just like a father. He really is. Um, all of the, all the accents in this are so, Cecilia, so unbelievably name. kind of My clunky. We have to put a stop it's to this. Like we need to find out what happened to the maid. They, they shouldn't be as clunky as they are, but they're just really, really bad. What is it, David? The I terrifying boy in short shorts. See. Come this way. Huh? David, wait. I've got to run after this small child. Sounds not weird. Oh god. <laughs> I was looking up old spitting image videos um last night and I saw the one where they lock up Jimmy Savile in a uh, in a padded cell. I just thought it just couldn't be more perfect. It made me laugh. Made me laugh. And yes, I did think of that directly because the main character in this just chased a small boy through a garden. It's not getting any better. He couldn't have seen... Th the angle was impossible for him to have seen that. Right. I take it the little brat's going to take us up to... the attic. What, you... You need to load again? You just loaded. Why are we loading there? Why don't just do this as a sequence? You have to start confiding in me, oh, David. Is. What are you seeing? Hangs! And stuff! I think I'm seeing... ghosts. Ghosts of those who have died here. I see my father as a child. He's trying to communicate with me. Perhaps you visited here as a child. Maybe you're remembering stories a father told you of this place when you were young. You see? I <laughs> said you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. No, I said lower this camera down. No, because... So I can actually sit back and relax a little because sitting up is becoming tiresome. If I'm only remembering things, how would I have known where to find a pendant? How could I have known he tried to force himself on her? Unless you think I killed her. I don't think you killed anyone, David. And you're right. I can't explain it. So? So we focus on the facts as we know them. Go on. You saw the maid's body. Her neck was broken. That was the work of a human, not a ghost, yes? I, I suppose so, yes. Lady Margaret knows more than she's saying, that's for sure. Godspeed getting anything out of that old hag. No, I know. But Eddie might be an easier option. Yes. Yes, we need to find him. We need to find him sure Badger. Margaret isn't there to interrupt. I believe she's already gone to bed, but I'll check. You go find Eddie. She's old. She'll pass away soon. It's fine. Just, you know. What am I to do? I don't. Well, that's clear enough. <laughs> Is it? I presume he was over here. 
Oh, this camera. I'm not even sure if that is clear enough. I think this is the only place where there's a, a right hand corner you could have hid behind. Oh, suddenly I can get in the attic now because reasons. Well, hello, my dear Elsa. Oh, Sir Edward, you look very handsome today. Eddie? Why, thank you. You're as beautiful as ever, my little doll. Oh, mwah, mwah. Run away. I'm just going to walk around here and find something big and heavy to hit the freak over the head with. Narnia. Can you hear me? <laughs> really what can you tell me about Great Grandmother Rose? What did Elsa have to do? Daddy! Someone took a cross off a wall! Right, so so Eddie is Eddie insane? Has he regressed? Is he is he is he always bonkers? What do you see here, Eddie? Cross, it's it, safe, it? the little rabbit said to his brothers and sisters. The fox is fast asleep, so the rabbits tiptoed past, but the fox was sly. He wasn't asleep at all. He opened his eyes. I've warned you before to mind your place. This will be the last time you defy me. The game's done that a couple of times where the... the the dialogue and the subtitles don't the eyes matter. Of the they shone with cruel light as he punched on the rabbits and ate them all one by one. It was only then he went to sleep, his tummy full, his heart content. So some I wonder what's on the other side. Is there uh, no can't see a switch or lever. I guess not all castles are like Edgar Allan Poe used to describe them. Enchantment? I know that. I can't think what that is. Enchantment. Uh, to get there to be an ah. A secret passage. Hmm. What do you think you're doing? That won't be long, I hope. Look after Eddie. Hardly a secret passage, it's just part of the attic that somebody's laid a bit of wood against. Ooh. Just a little a further. Gratuitous butt shot. I don't know, spiders are me without my flamethrower. This guy should realize at some point that actually that blowing. Damn it! What? That's not. Why would crawling around there? What? Why is the whole house just a random bunch of timbers? That's not how architecture works, and it's certainly not. People don't build a house and then go, oh, you know what? We started at the bottom. We built our way all at the top, and there was so much wood left over. We left it in the attic, just strewn haphazardly. That's it. Open wide. Good. I don't want any. That's all right, dear. Did I tell you that John's son David has arrived? 
He's as bothersome as his father. Not worthy of this place. Poor Angus will never recover from the sight of John's charred remains. Selfish, selfish man. Please. Don't. I do not enjoy this, as you well know. But you brought it on yourself. Your son was a good man. You should not have defied him. Judgment. What was that from? God, that's gonna bug me now. Roseberry. Oh my God. She's pe she's barely skin and bones. How is she still alive? Magic. Some of it switch. It was in the bookcase. You scared me half to death. Well, you will insist on wandering off without telling me where you're going, and I just managed to avoid Lady Margaret when Jesus God. Jesus God. I saw this. In a vision. Edward beat her with it. Used it to cripple the poor woman. Oh my God. And he hung it there to remind her every day. Take it down. You're sure? Do it. I would just get her out of the room. Oh, what well, was a magic switch that sets off a? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, she's aware we're here. I can die in peace now. Uh. Oh, sweet. There's a whole other stuff over here. This place is huge. Totally out of it. Where are you going? We can't leave her like this. Oh, was I just the way back here? Oh, thank you. I thought that was part of the... Rose? Place. Rosemary? I'm coming. Can you hear me? Rose? Break her ankles? It's like that zombie game where if you try give a pillow to your girlfriend like you end up smothering her. Rosemary, I'm David, John's son, your great grandson. Here, try this. There's an ear trumpet. No, like this. Gently. What is this nonsense? Who did this to you? <laughs> Edward, I was bad. I disobeyed. Disobeyed? How did you disobey? Cecilia, I tried to stop him. Stop what he was doing. What was he doing, Rosemary? Should not have disappeared. <laughs> not disturb him in the old wing. Never talk back. Rose, Rose, what did he do to Cecilia? I don't think you'll get anything more out of her. Poor woman. Dragon Age! Come on, Lady Rosemary. Oh, I just we'll figured that out. You've been bugging me. Enchantment! We can get you somewhere yeah. safe. That's here. Oh, I think there's a bit more of um, safe here in this a, wee, a wee bit of the, the Eddie from Silent Hill 2. About him. <laughs> she's not she's got one animation the black mirror 
Margaret. Well, the Black Mirror is clearly the leak. Or the walk. No. No, we can get the. I think we need to have words with her ladyship. <laughs> coffee. That's a brilliant idea. I should go and get a coffee. Coffee with a, a large dollop of Irish whiskey in it to be honest to get me through this. Oh. Margaret. We need to talk about Kevin. Lady Margaret, if no. you please. Never mind that. What the hell are you doing with Rosemary? You'll want to talk. You're just like your father, leaving nothing but fear and misery in your wake. What in God's name are you talking about? You spoke to young Eddie, did you not? Now he's convinced everyone is trying to kill him. He has taken poor Andrew hostage and is threatening his life. Where is he? He's taken him to the old wing, and he is armed. I'll go. I can talk to him. You will not. You two have caused quite enough trouble already. We? How dare you, when you continue to worship Edward, even though he drove poor Cecilia to drown herself? I will not allow you to... To what? To speak the truth? Speaking truth to, to power! Edward... He never touched her! You come here, and you... No, you. You are the one in the wrong here. You know more than you're saying, and we both know it. There's something in this place. An evil that has plagued our family for generations. Instead of blaming others, maybe you should look closer to home for the cause of your misfortune. You know nothing. What I did, what I do, everything... Everything is for this family. How can you possibly understand? Please, my lady, we can discuss this later. Miss Farber, you need to speak to Master Eddie. Take us to him. What even? This way. Uh, have a care in the old wing. It isn't used. Um. And for good reason. A section of wall fell into the sea some years back, and the rest is falling to ruin. Fell into the sea? I don't think the house was that close to the water. I mean, you know, an establishing shot would have helped in that regard, but maybe there was one, to be honest. At the point now where the opening sequence seems so long ago. All I can think of is these black screens with a interminable loading symbol in the corner. Which is supposed to be a stone circle, by the way. Um, yeah. Because there was a stone circle at the opening. The opening sequence, which was your father running away across a moor up to a stone circle and setting himself on fire. After doing some blood magic. Which made me think this was going to be really interesting. Yes, well. Over there, sir. Eddie? No! No! They're after me! All of them! Trying to kill me! No! Please help! Eddie, look at me, Eddie. Just at me. It's going to be all right. Stay back here. I'll try to reason with him. You will not. This is what I do. The game crashed. The game's crashed. Mm 
let's hope that was a save point. I'll load it back up again. And get myself a coffee in the meantime. Definitely a good idea. Sorry, I didn't actually mention that. Um, I hope there's save points, yeah. Yeah, there's a lovely little um, mini-game thing where you can... Can I reshuffle that? Yay! You can do this. That's weird. Why is that all weird? Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't save it. Whatever. Anyway. It's like a braid style puzzle piece. For whatever reason that was being a bit funny. I imagine it will probably continue on from that sequence. Maybe if I'm really lucky it'll just end there. And I'll never ever be able to get past that part again. And that would mean I would never be able to finish the game. Ever. Ever. And it's going to keep me in suspense until that point by loading really slowly. Are you going to have to play the rest of this game or not? Oh, 51%. 60. Oh god, here? Definitely selling out for this controller. Alright. I think we Okay, so all this bit again. <sighs> and then if it crashes again at that point then call it quits. Which I think is fair.
Margaret. He he's taken him to the old wing, and... I'll go. You will. He never touched her! He never touched no. her. You know nothing. What I did, what I do, everything, everything. Please. Yeah, the yeah, Scottish accents are getting a bit ropey at this point. This way, uh, have and another loading screen. Loading screen for a two second when the animations, when the loading animations are twice as long as the sequence that they load either side of. That is when you have a crap game that is broken. So I can't save. Over there, sir. Eddie? No. I can't skip any no. of this. They're after me! All of them! Trying to kill me! No! Please help! Eddie, look at me, Eddie. Just at me. It's going to be all right. Stay back here. I'll try to reason with it. You will not. This is what I do. Okay, cool. All right, I will save the game there, just in case. Eddie, talk to me, Eddie. Tell me what's troubling you. Troubling me? He is, and David. They all are. This might be a way across. They all are what, Eddie? Accusing me. They think I killed her. The maid, you mean? But I didn't. I didn't! I believe you, Eddie. I believe you. Okay. Steady now. Why, why would you? How... How could you guarantee you'll be able to get back up again? You're climbing down literally... Oh yeah, he won't hear that. I'm not even controlling this. I wasn't even controlling that, he just walked across by himself. That would have been a nice little balance puzzle, you know, the kind that games have been doing since time immemorial. 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 Since, since a long time ago. Oh, can I go down the way? No. Stop wriggling about. You stay still. Let him go, Eddie. Everything is all right. <laughs> Come here. <gasps> Is that a crossbow? Do I get to crossbow him? Bits of bone. Should work if I'm careful. Got to do black magic on him. Seems intact. Now for some ammunition. Got bits of bone. Let's hope this doesn't snap under the strain. <laughs> Leave me alone! I told you! Leave me alone! Eddie, 
That masked man promises. Get them off! Don't walk over and just doing at him in the back of the head, doesn't he? Hold still, tell you, bastard! Andrew! Andrew, no! Nice. You apparently have force powers. Although interestingly, that's the same thing that your father had been. Um, uh, yeah, the butterfly fact. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. You, um, at the beginning of the game, your father carved that same sort of. Sea rune thing in blood on a stone tablet. Just before he set himself on fire. What? What happened? Relax. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. gonna be alright. Are you out of your mind? Oh, please. Contain yourself, Andrew. I most certainly will not. And I'm not spending another moment in this madhouse. I will fetch the police from the village immediately. I don't think that would be wise, sir. Don't give us. Are you threatening me? I'm the one holding Perish the thought, sir. I am merely pointing out the folly of driving these roads in the dark. And besides, we may need the car if Eddie's condition worsens. I don't Do give a toss. Do you say jump off the roof for all I care? I, for one, will rather risk my life out there than in here. Leave, then. And before you even think of telling anyone what happened here, just remember who you are dealing with. And yes, you may consider that a threat. I don't know, I kind of feel like if I was that lawyer, I would just put a bullet in everyone there. And then that would be it. Starting with, like, the butler. Just bang, and then... Bang. Sorry, and I then David, you. the crazy Science force guy, took a beating tonight. After seeing what happened here, I think even Dr. Freud would agree with you. Freud, eh? The mirror. I think it's some kind of dark force, uh, an ancient evil summoned by the druids. Druids. Oh. Control over it. I believe they never had control. They just kept eating and eating all the time. Right, I'm gonna get that coffee.
My father tried to destroy the mirror, to end the evil, but he failed. Now he's trapped in there. Are you talking about what? soul? If that's what you want to call it. All I know is... I... We have to find a way to free him. Where did he pull that from? I mean... Not being funny. Literally, where did he pull that from? I need to check up on Eddie and make sure he's all right. Who cares? Uh, have you forgotten that he tried to kill you? So, I'll be careful then. He's a person in need, no matter what he did. Edward knew of the mirror. He may have even understood its power. So we know what it is, but not where. It's underground. Somewhere. Reaching it, well, that's the real conundrum. And how not to end up like your father. This, this is Edward's lair. And Margaret was none too eager on us prying. So we should pry. Let's Indeed. pry. And of course they've all just vanished somehow. Oh, that look that was the clunkiest thing. Maybe maybe that everything suddenly looks cheap now. Another one. Like the symbols carved on the rocks. Roaring. Yes. He might know what it means. Because he's a druid, He'd clearly. Be asleep at this late hour, though. Nah. The first time I met him was in the dead of night. So who knows? He might get lucky. I don't want to get lucky with Rory. Son of a... Mouse. An army book. It belonged to Angus. There's a page marked. It details how to perform a caesarean section. Does that mean that Angus... Delivered Cecilia's baby. That way they could keep it out of the public eye. Horrifying. This place must be a dream for a psychiatrist. Or oh, nightmare. Eddie didn't want to do his delicate work in the dark. Just how far does the official Gordon estate reach? Ooh, raw alcohol. Yay, set fire things. The blood stains on it are old and dry. Empty. Another of Eddie's horrors waiting to happen. Eddie is truly desperate to be a great Gordon like his grandfather. Angus and Eddie. The family that slays together stays together. Empty. Oh, Laura. Hmm? Probably looking for this too, father. What? Tell me Eddie what already took everything he could find. Ah! 
Something's missing. And he had too much respect for Looks like it is part of the key father hid away for me. Still not complete, it seems. It's complete enough. Well, something blobbly is having up there. Doesn't fit like that. Okay, cross. Cross to the right, other bit to the left. some way of actually doing this. Ah. Ah. To my dear father Edward, you stopped me from ending my torment many times before, but on this occasion I'm determined you will not. I do this not for myself, but for my child. A child that should never have been. A child born, not from love, but from cruelty. I'm taking my baby with me to save it from this rotten family. For it does not deserve to be cast into this world and into this damned place. Cecilia Gordon. What does it say? <sighs> the ramblings of a lunatic. He talks of a place of great power <coughs> in an abandoned village. Any mention of where it is? No such luck. Just that it's where, as he charmingly puts it, his whore of a mother pushed him out into the world. He was born in this village. At the place of power. Yes, but it puts us no nearer to finding it. It does. His mother will know the location. Of course. Rosemary! <laughs> So what, you're going to go, Rosemary, where was it exactly that you farted this horrible little bastard in the world? Right, really I'm not finished exploring this old wing. I mean, there's, a, there's literally a skull there. And this is the time before things like that were easily bought in the shop. Just saying. I'm pretty sure I've looked at all this. Talk to the lady. See what the lady say. No. Yes. Found anything yet? Only a few reasons for bad dreams. Yeah. Hmm? Ugh, the stench. It reeks of death down there. That foul smell might lead us straight to where we need to go. You think the way to the mirror might be through that abyss? Perhaps. It's too dark to see what's down Let's there. Let's gaze into it. Found anything yet? Only a few reasons. 
Um, so how, how do we... Or do I have to go back this way? No. Um, let's be way down. There's an archway over there. I mean, you know, you one would assume... Right, there's a Fleming staircase there. Come on now. This, there's a staircase here. I can see it. Oh, seriously, this game. Some more time. <sighs> Found anything? Only if. I don't get it. What am I supposed to do? Did I miss something here? This looks interesting. Hmm. Clearly it has something to do with the big one inside the house. Pick it up. No, I can probably pick this stuff up. I should be able. Cheers. Stand back. Hope nobody lives down there. Some of those bones are human. So this is where Eddie dumped the bits he didn't need. Look, who knows how far down these chasms go? Mm -hmm. Or how vast the caves below are. The castle may have been built on top of wherever the mirror is kept. It doesn't look like we'll get any closer to it from down there, though. Found anything oh, okay. So the somehow out of nowhere he figured out that the black mirror is something important. Um, I need Right. This is where he's gonna go and look at that little thing on the table and then he's gonna go, wait! There's one like that just inside the house. Why didn't I think of that right until this moment? None of this makes sense. This loop. No. Uh. Can't take the candle. I think we should get moving, unless you still want to look around some more. So, why couldn't I just pick that up earlier? The estate is massive. Could this all be really coming to me? Oh, you don't really want it. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's like made of Satan. Found any? Oh. 
Don't give her a secondary talking option to, to, to make plain that we've reached the end of this section. I mean, I know that her saying that should be enough, but... I'm, <laughs> I'm just very badly burnt. Hello? Hello? My leg is broken. And the wound smells faintly of almonds, which is not good. Mr. McKinnon. Master Kick him in the fire. Miss Farber. If you don't mind me saying, you look like you could use some sleep. After seeing what happened in the old wing, I doubt I will ever sleep well again. Might as well throw yourself in the fire yes. then, mate. I know exactly what you mean. No, sir. I do not think you do. Oh, I'll just be cryptic as fuck, why not? No. How is Eddie Ferry? The young master is in bed. We've ensured he's comfortable and cannot do any further harm. Cut his arms and I'd legs like off. Chain them up. To help us understand why he did what he did. Lady Margaret is sitting with him at the moment. I'm afraid he's in no fit state to talk. I hope he managed to sleep soon. Thank you, sir. As do I. Oh, Rory the gardener mentioned he wanted to speak with you. <laughs> He's in the library. But Thank you for letting me know. Of course he is. Thirteen out of twenty one achievements. I think this is very much a game of once you've finished it. You've finished it. Any particular reason there's a blind guy hanging out in the library? Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying. He shouldn't be there, I'm just saying. I'm not sure why he would bother. I like the smell of the old books. You can. Right. This can't have anything to do with anything. It couldn't possibly be that the Black Mirror is underneath that. That would be like something that would happen in a computer game. Wait, the library's over here, isn't it? That would be the labor. Das Libre. They'll go iron. Oh, there he is. Hello, Rory. What brings you to the library in the dead of night? I don't rightly know. I woke up. Something, a feeling, made me come here. I see. I can, I wasn't a much of a help to you earlier. It is not easy for me to trust folks. From what I've seen of this family, I cannot entirely blame you. Edward's diary mentioned an old, deserted village somewhere nearby. I can it. I haven't been up there in years, though. It is a fearful place, so it is. What happened? Why was it abandoned? The folks there were all killed. All dead. Wiped out overnight. Nobody goes there anymore. But Edward did. I. Can you take us to the village? No. No, son, I canna. My eyesight's not what it was, you can. And them woods are not safe with no map to guide you. I can get you across the loch when you can the path, though. <laughs> How did the village die? It was the druids. The druids using the black mirror. Aye, aye, it was. 
They got what they wanted, drove back the Romans. Aye, that they did. But it cost them. Cost them dear. Well, uh, clearly I have to go back to my office and use another part of this puzzle. Now that I've finally got the, um... Take that. No, I'm done with that. Oh, beware the full moon. Stay on the path. Remember the Alamo. Has that dozy been wandered off again? Oh, it's got as much use as a chocolate fire got. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can get you across the lake. Well, it's a lake now, not a loch. I know. So an old blind Scotsman who can't remember if he's saying loch or lake because clearly the script just... I'm clearly doomed because the lassie with the, the torch has, hasn't caught up with me yet. This guy. Oh... Where is she? I have an AI companion that can't actually follow me. Necessitating walking back and through doors that take... Alright, in this case, like, a, you know, 10 to 15 seconds to load. Well, there she is. So she couldn't figure out where I was, clearly, because I'd walked through a doorway. Silly move. Still part missing though, isn't it? So there's clearly a fourth piece to this that I do not possess. <sighs> not like this. There was priceless actually though, I mean, uh, it was funny when we were talking about that because genuinely without actually having watched or read the book, there was no reason for me to uh, to take that as meaning anything other than just being an offhand comment, because without context it, it just doesn't mean anything. I 
I'll speak to old Rose up in the attic. I bet they stopped not even Oh The poor woman. How could Edward do this to his own mother? He was a monster, that's how. Old lady. Rose? Rosemary. It's me. It, it's David. I need you to help us. The village where Edward was born. She's Can gonna look up our face and like can you do oh. that? Oh, nothing. It's like she's shut down. Just a second. Try now. Really? There. That's where the village is. <laughs> this ought to be enough for Roy to help us find the village. We'll need a boat to get across the loch. I There's watched a few of them. I never saw all of them. I certainly never saw. Although apparently, it was apparently the um um the uh, Orient Express one was actually supposed to be really good, and one of the one of the later ones they did because he did all of them, didn't he? The one I remember particularly, the Poirot I remember, was one about a, a man who died of fright. At this point, apparently he saw something scary and died. But what actually turned out is, in, in the end, it, his wife had shot him in the mouth with a root rifle. And it was like, ah, oh, okay. But it was this whole thing of him like, ah! And like, he looked shocked. He looked shocked because he woke up and somebody had a rifle in his mouth. And well, that makes sense then. We know the way to the village now. Come <laughs> on, laddie. You both go on ahead and ready the boat. I'll see you doing at the jetty. What? No. We can find it ourselves. It's cold and dark outside. I ken the weather, lassie. I'm nae some bairn. And I'm nae too old to walk up a hill. I get the feeling you won't take no for an answer. You say that right. And I can wix up there mair than you both. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna save it here. I have a break because I'm uh I need, I need to not be playing this. <laughs> oh dear. Right, well The ring <laughs> Yeah. Um right, well I think that's gonna be it for this stream. Um at oh just shy, one minute, in fact, I'll be able to finish almost exactly to the second. Um, that's one minute shy, practically, of... Uh, one minute shy, practically, of four hours. So, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, um, I hope you'll enjoy. Thank you very much, uh, Sorry for popping by, and anyone else who's watching this at any later point. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I doubt you'll enjoy the game, but um, yeah, that's good. And I am going to switch off for a little while. Deary me. So, cheerio. <laughs>